Uh, Caleb, you're down 0-2 in the count there in that ninth inning at bat. What would you see? What's going through your mind, and how were you able to get it to 3-2 before you ended up finding some grass there? Uh, yeah, I got down 0-2 early, but I felt like I was on both of those pitches. Like My swing was feeling really good. I felt really locked in, so started throwing me some splitters and um, pretty tough takes, but got it done, and then just threw that fastball again. Got jammed pretty bad, but good result, so we're happy at the end of the day. Frenchie, you've been at this park when it's rocking, maybe on the other side. But what was that moment like for you there to get that hit and then come off the field and have your teammates kind of mob you? I mean, just being in that moment was awesome. And, you know, just having Coach King being able to trust me in that situation was uh, pretty – meant a lot for me. And, uh, you know, just the overall atmosphere of this place is freaking crazy. You know, as you mentioned I was on the other side when Sight hit that homer last year and it was jumping, but I think it was just a little bit louder today, you know, after Brad's walk off. French, talking specifically about when you get pinch run for and you're hyped coming off the base and the dugouts, you know, everyone's coming over the railing. What's that feeling like? You know, it, it's, it's pretty awesome because we're all just, you know, one big family. And I know that term gets thrown around with a lot of teams, but here I really feel like we are. And, you know, everybody's pulling for everybody. And, you know, we all share just a big love for each other. And I know that if it was anybody else who was in that spot, you know, it would be the same reaction just because we all ha have that love for each other. Yeah. Caleb certainly had some better swings here lately, but struggling for the last few weeks overall, just how do you keep your confidence high and in that moment and, and be able to compete in that last at bat like that? Uh, yeah, it's been a pretty tough stretch about last month, but uh, inside I know the type of player I am and what I'm capable of, and I, uh, I have the same amount of confidence every single at-bat, no matter what happened that at-bat before the past 40. So just keeping that in mind that I know what I can do. For both of you guys, a lot gets made about this team's power, but you win this game, score four runs without the benefit of an extra base hit. What's it say about this offense to where you guys can maybe piece some things together and come back without having to hit doubles and triples and home runs? Uh, a big part of our offense is, uh, you know, just being able to win a ball game when the wind's not blowing out. And I think that's the, the base foundation of what we do is, you know, we try to hit the ball hard the opposite way, you know, through the four hole. That's our approach. And, you know, I think you see games like tonight where, you know, Ethan Petrie scorches a ball to center field. It gets caught when, you know, it's a home run pretty much any other day. And, you know, we're able to win the game off of, you know, singles and, you know, just putting the ball in play and making something happen. Yeah. Caleb, their um, middle reliever, Mal Maltrude, maybe, uh, what what was he doing to, to keep you all so off balance that he had eight strikeouts and out of his ten outs? Yeah, he's a really good arm. Uh, I think he's their go-to guy. Um, pretty high-velocity fastball, but it has a lot of ride on it, so that was a little challenging there for a while. What's the mindset, I guess, for either of you, what's the mindset like when something like that's happening when you're struggling? You haven't had a lot of that this year, but what's it kind of like? what was it kind of like in the dugout, and what were you able to do to kind of pull out of that mentally as much as anything in the ninth inning? Uh, yeah, I think this team is very even keeled. We don't panic when there's pressure. Um, one of Kingston's saying is no panic, and I think that's true for this team. We uh, just attack every pitch like it's when we're winning or nothing, nothing, or we're losing. We just attack every pitch with uh, everything we have. Both of you guys came in here as transfers, and yet the word family is – probably the most popular word that I think has come out of the player's <clears throat> mouth this year. Um, how did y'all go about building that feel um, in an environment where you're competing for at-bats, competing for playing time, but also trying to you know be there for each other? You know, I think a big part of it is just uh, having a mutual respect for everybody, and especially like coming in, you know, I'm coming in from a rival school, but you know, it's still, we respect each other as baseball players, and you know, I think just everybody kind of puts the differences aside with competition. Like, yeah, we're going to go out and compete every day, like in practice and in the fall. But at the end of the day, we all share the same locker room. We all eat the same pregame and postgame meals. Like, we're all – we have to be together. And, you know, if you get to the point where, you know, P 
people are kind of fighting against each other that are competing against each other, and that starts to tear down the whole ship. And, you know, we're, we try not to build a culture like that.